We will certainly miss that brilliant intellectual and ambassador of Nigeria. May his soul rest in peace. Let's get more positive and upbeat by showing you a report on an event organized to celebrate the recent World Book Day and inspire Nigerian children to develop a reading culture. It was an event that reminded us of the need to dedicate our focus and resources on educating our children, something Pius Sadesomi spent much of his life promoting. Enjoy this. All over the world, countries celebrate the World Book Day, which is an initiative of the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. UNESCO's vision is to use the day to promote reading, publishing and copyright. 23rd of April every year is the date most countries have chosen to celebrate the World Book Day. But in some countries, including the United Kingdom, a different day is dedicated to celebrate the special event. In Nigeria, different organizations pick either the 23rd of April or a Thursday in March to celebrate the book. As part of its corporate social responsibility, Fanfa Oil Limited, one of the largest indigenous Nigerian-owned exporter of crude oil, in collaboration with the United for Education Foundation, U4E, a non-profit educational volunteer mobilization organization, organized a reading event on March the 7th for primary schools within Lagos State to mark the World Book Day. The venue was Muson Center, Lagos, and the theme was Share a Story. Over 300 children were invited to this event. The aim was to encourage a reading culture amongst Nigerian children and to inspire them to understand the Nigerian culture. The book chosen to be read by selected role models was Chidubem, The Child of Destiny by Munachim Bonu, who is an 11-year-old author. The invited role models who read to the children included Mrs. Olushola Momo, Vice Chairman of Channels Television. The next day, my uncle had gotten ready and was about to go to the airport for his flight early in the morning. We all woke up to say goodbye to him. Julius, may the Lord be with you. No evil shall befall you, Auntie Chidima said. Daddy, I'll miss you. Isn't I give him a kiss on the cheek? I'll miss you too, Daddy. Come back home with goodies. Ikena said and then hugged his father. Early in the morning, I woke up and got ready for the trip to the city. My mother cried both tears of joy and sadness. Her only child was leaving for the city. She was going to miss me. My father didn't shed tears, but he kept looking at me very fondly. They both gave me a hug. Uncle Julius and I left the house before 6.30 a.m., and soon his Mercedes-Benz was moving swiftly on the expressway. The day that my uncle came back from Abuja, I was very happy. I wanted my auntie to stop maltreating me. I knew that if my uncle was around, she wouldn't treat me badly. Julius, how are you? How was the business trip, my auntie said, with a big smile plastered on her face. Chi, it's only God that brought me back, nothing else. The trip went very well, and this means that I'll receive more income than I currently receive every month, my uncle said happily. Mama, let me go and start washing your wrapper now so it will dry 
quickly to make you look fine and neat when you go to the festival. I said, but she held me back. Chiribin, my son, you know that we cannot afford it this year. The entrance fee is expensive. We will go next year, okay? She responded in a way I didn't expect. My excitement melted away, and I felt sadness creeping over me. Why is it always next year? That's what you said last year, and the year before that. I want to go this year. There was also a stage play by Proud Africa Roots Production. It was a time very much enjoyed by the children, sponsors and guests. For the last number of years, the Farm for Oil has been involved in uh, a number of CSR projects. But with Farm for Oil itself, we are actually want to try and take directive and basically build up on foundation of education. The idea is, even though we've made lots of investment under the ground, we believe our real true investment is above the ground, and that's our children and our schools and education. We feel as though that's important, whereby this is going to be the future generations, these are going to be people who are going to be looking at trying to get into these jobs. And World Book Day is just one of those things in whereby we feel as though that for you to be, to be part of education, you have to be passionate about something. And books are basically one of the cornerstones of education. And we feel as though passion should be fueled by books. We recognize that a lot of corporate people really want to give back not just money they want to give time they want to mentor children so that's the platform we're building a platform to garner volunteers from the corporate world who are interested in changing educational outcomes and then getting them to interface uh, with the primary uh, public primary school kids teaching the kids to read from this early age takes us back to how it used to be even these days that kids spend a lot of time on the internet Wherever you find the materials, whether you're reading it electronically or you're reading books, we should encourage our kids to read books because that way you broaden your mind and uh, no classroom education can equate uh, the, the need to read and expand you know, what you already know. And how better could the event have ended than the 11-year-old author signing autograph for our fellow young students who had a great time reading a book. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's show. As always, please join us on any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. We'll be happy to get your feedback. I'm Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.